Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. It's finally here. What to do expression detection. Now, it doesn't act like VC face. It more acts like Vignon, to be honest. But at least with Vignon, at least you have more precision how you want it triggered, though. But I just wanted to at least elaborate that this is not exactly, exactly like VC face in terms of simplicity. It's going to require some work. But don't worry. As long as you follow along with this tutorial, you can have it where you can trigger anime expression with just your face alone. So anyways, uh, let's get to that, shall we? Now obviously if you have no idea how to use Wadado, please check out my other tutorials as I go over how to set up your tracking and just overall like how you set up Wadado and all that good stuff basically. But in order to activate that beautiful expression detection, we're gonna go into our character, make sure our character is set up and looking beautiful with our mocap, and then we're gonna go into the expression section. Make sure that you click on import VRM expressions. If by any chance you're a Wadado avatar uh, user where you don't use VRM, you're using purely FBX and such, you're gonna have to create your own expression from scratch. Good luck with that. But otherwise though, um, with, with this, um, you know, once you import your VRM expressions here, uh, basically what you're going to do um, is you're going to choose an expression that you want to become triggered. Let's say, let's, let's, let's take a moment to think. I want it where when I smile, I want the fun expression to be triggered. When my eyes become widened, and remember, this really depends on the tracking that you have, whether your AR kit or if you're using the default, um, the default VRM face tracking. This is more benefit. If I'm going to be honest, this is more beneficial to AR kit more than the default VRM blend shapes. Like you can still utilize the default VRM blend shapes if you want, but you're probably not going to have like the results you're looking for. So definitely, this is recommended. For to have air kit blend shapes so you can have much more like control like even more like dynamic control because again it does not act like vc faces expression detection where it's done via tracking points this is done via blend shape values basically that's the difference hence why it acts exactly like vignons but basically what you're going to do um as long as your mall has air kit at least but to each your own um Let's say, for instance, I want it where when I smile, I have the fun expression. If I, if my eyes widen, the surprise expression will trigger. And if my eyebrows go down, angry will be triggered. Those are three examples. Again, depending on what you want, apply your own knowledge to that. But I'm going to show you three examples for that. Fun, angry, sorrow. But again, to what you want. So, to fun... We're gonna go here once we have our stuff generated we're gonna scroll down into the trigger conditions make sure that you click on plus um so plus then you're gonna click on here then we're going to add two conditions for ar kit so right here we want it where if i smile like this um the fun expression will be triggered so let's do that mouse smile left that's one of the ar kit blend shapes so there's that then we have to make sure that we choose our character here. Then for the second condition that I've set up here, this is going to be but uh, for the right smile. Then we're going to make sure this is also set to my character. And if I smile, look at that. The fun expression um, can be triggered now. So you can set up the value, the value is referring to, um, so the condition and value. So condition is referring to if it's greater or less than, not equal to, but greater or less than. So if the value of the blend shape is greater than half or 0.5, then it will trigger. If it's less than, then it will keep it, um, if, if it's like less than 0.5, it will have it so, um, the expression will stay like that otherwise um if you uh if i were to yeah basically just does the opposite basically if that makes sense so yeah um usually probably for the most part you're probably going to use the greater than but less than can be nice depending on what the heck you're looking into just just experiment that's all i can tell you but at least uh, we can smile, have the fun expression. But let's say um, you notice that when you smile, right, it doesn't immediately turn off the 
fun expression. It takes some time. This is where we have delays. So you can have a, like a slight delay where when you smile, uh, it'll take some time before it gets triggered. Um, so that could be really nice as a start when it enters the expression. But then you can also have it where um, when the conditions are no longer met, basically. Um, so basically, once you stop doing the smile, uh, you can have it where the delay is zero. I usually like that because it looks much more faster, basically. So, yay! Um, so that's how you can be able to do that. Look, you just got an expression detection going on. Good job! Um, but yeah, but again, experiment with the settings however you want it, basically. But at least we have that going on. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to have it where if we get shocked, um, the surprise will get triggered. So we're going to basically do the same thing. I'll choose surprise, the expression I want, trigger conditions, just press one. You don't need to make like multiple, honestly. Uh, I would, I wouldn't do that. It depends. It really depends. Like, like, like let's say like, uh, oh, when you get really shocked, like either widen, you can have that, but also like, um... Let's say if there's like a very like a, a different like set of ex like blend shape values that you want to also trigger the surprise. Like let's say when you get really angry, you want to be surprised, but then when you're either widening or something like that, you know, something something. It really depends. I usually just prefer to do just um, only one of the condition here, but it's like I would experiment. It's it's up to you really on what you want to achieve. But basically, what you're going to do. Again, uh, for this case, um, for the, the uh, surprise, is I'm going to add um, I wide left, set that to my character, and then I wide right. And again, if you don't know how the air kit blend shapes look like, uh, you can Google how it looks like. I'll probably leave a link in the description what the air kit blend shape look like. But again, if you don't know what air kit is at all, you definitely probably don't have the blend shapes. Uh, it, it depends, unless you commission your model from someone else. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Definitely utilize air kit, but yeah. But either way, um, basically just doing the same thing I did with um, what's this? But when I get shocked, oh my god, expression, uh, so yeah. So you can basically be able to do this. And then again, I can have it where there's no delay. Because I, again, at preference, I prefer it to be fast. So yeah. Um, so pretty much, there you go. You got another expression detection going on with just your face tracking alone. <gasps> okay, so yeah, there you go. Um... So now that you have that, basically, now what you're going to then do is angry. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go into angry here. Then uh, we're going to set up a condition where when my eyebrows go down, it will trigger the angry expression, basically. So press on uh, trigger. We're basically doing this one more time. This one will only need one condition. Uh, actually, no, it'll, it'll need two. If it was eyebrows up, it might need one or three actually but we'll actually do two again so brows our brow down left set to my character brow down right set that to my character there you go and then i can also set it so it, to make my angry less cursed um set that to binary and there you go then I'll make sure delay is zero, so that way it's fast. Arr! So yeah. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much how you can set up the expression detection for Wadado. It's pretty much just like a replica of Vignon, basically. Um, not really much of VC face, because again, VC face is based on OpenC face's tracker points. That's how, like, even with the default VRM expressions, you're able to do that. Um, but Wadado can only do the um Wadado can only do the, the method that Vignon has. Now, you may be wondering, can Wadado be able to add the method with the open sea face uh, trackers and stuff? If I, I if they know their way with, um, with like, reading the tracker point data and such like that, uh, and getting that thing to work, or reverse engineering VC face or something like that, I guess. But... 
I, I, I don't, that's, that's really much of a tiger question, if I'm going to be honest. So, if you want to ask about that, I would ask tiger, only, only he can confirm that. But, basically though, um, again, you can always join the Wadabido Discord server, um, regarding, um, any questions or requests you have for Wadabido. But basically though, that is how, um, you can actually be able to have the expression detection. Now, yeah, it can get really glitchy. So the more stuff you add to your face, right? The more, um, it can get really glitchy. That's why it's recommend to add a lot of conditions. Um, to try and make sure like your expressions don't glitch through as much as possible but then again it's probably going to happen anyway so just keep in mind it's not going to be perfect uh but it is something like you know you can experiment and mess around with but i rec i definitely recommend don't be saying like 10 different facial expressions unless you want to obviously but just keep in mind it's just um yeah, it can be a bit of a hassle and things can clip. Like, how, like, even though, like, I'm not angry right now and such, like, when I scrunch up my nose or something like that, or, like, um, sometimes when I get really happy, I actually, my eyebrows move down sometimes. So it's like, yeah, that's like, that's normal. Um, but yeah, that, that's something. I can also even, uh, again, change the value too. Cause that's, that's the thing to, that I can't forget. Um, I can set the value for these two to be much higher instead. So let's say like 0.9. So it doesn't trigger as much because I, I do tend to move my eyebrows quite often. There you go. See, I have a little wiggle room, a little wiggle room for my eyebrows to move down. <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, but pretty much though, uh, it's just a matter of experimenting and messing around with the values and all that to whatever you like, basically. But yeah, right now I'm just messing with the, um, I'm, I'm right now just messing with the values just to make sure like, so it's not triggering that easily. So I could be like a little surprised, but then when I get really surprised, um, it should work. I think I made it a little too, too high of a value. I'll set that to point. 75 there you go so yeah there you go um but yeah but definitely though just experiment uh and basically that's pretty much how you can get expression detection to work and thank god we don't have to use this pesky blueprints anymore so yeah but either way though i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you guys next time bye bye Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.